Got the uh, high quality recording going. I'm gonna swap this over to GPU. Eh, yeah, performance fixed. All right. So when uh, doing like a preview render check, it doesn't crash the whole thing out. All right, so last stream I did on Blender, I somehow managed to have my entire character's body messed up, so. I'm showing like right here, I have went through and I uh, corrected all said issues. And if you're on Gaming Tribe, you probably saw my post how I was working on the upper arm and shoulder here so that it would move uh, more smoothly together, so like if I lift up the arm, better than what it was, still not perfect. Then you lift up the arm here, it should go more, but honestly, part of it is maybe I need to move the, uh, you know, shoulder section itself, because that does move your collarbone and everything along with it, so you'd be more like that, along with the arm itself, so... Ah. <laughs> you want it going that high up. Let's keep it more together, so... See? Not bad, but I'll get more into it. But that's just all refinement, of course, for later on. Now, what I wanted to do last time was eyes! And I, haha, bad joke, messed up. But uh, as we look like here, it doesn't matter, I don't have to hit X because it's all lined up. I actually got it done. Now it looks weird like that because you got a shape key along with it, so. See there. Uh, it's all tied together for it, so. If I do one, I need to do both. Go like that, grab here with the shape key for proper eye shot. Oh, there's still a tiny bit show in there, but. Alright. Let's grab it and reset the uh, whole animation. And get into edit mode. Now, when I originally did this, I actually placed an upper eyelid controller and a lower eyelid controller on this character. Now that's not how you want to do it. So the first thing I did was select the uh, base of the eye controller here from the see here the uh, left eye. Just hit shift S and I told the, told the cursor to go in the center then I hit shift A created a new bone like so, and then I dragged it down. Now, the next thing I did was, well, I dragged it down so it would align with the bottom of the eye here, because this is an animated, anime style type character. So I had to make sure that this whole section around here would come down with it properly, because if you don't, then it's gonna start bending around this section here, if you say have it by the middle of the eye and such. We don't want that, for the at least my character, we don't want that. So, you want the base of where it's going to rotate at lined up with the bottom eyelid here. Now the top part of this bone is also kind of li is lined up with the uh, eyelid here, so if I hit three here, as you see it's an ortho view, and I drag it down and you move it forward, you'll notice that it's overall lined up in the eye. If you move this forward, you'll notice that it'll start pushing through as well. And you want it either on the same level as the eyelid here or a little farther back. Now, I did a, f a separate save on this one, so I can go through uh, the weight paints. So, 
I'll quickly uh, delete both of these and recreate it so you can see it yourself. Uh, delete bones. And I'm going to have to delete it from the vertex group here as well, which they should be on the bottom still where I left them. Yeah, I lid left and right. So again, at the selected edit mode, grab the back of the eye bone controller, shift S, cursor to selected, shift A to create it. And now you're going to want to line it up after making it smaller from the top, of course. So you grab the top, drag it down. Zoom on in. Drag this down. Make sure it's around again, the lower eyelid level. Then you're going to want to pull this forward and push it down. So again, eyelid level. Now, this looks more towards the actual eyelid, bottom eyelid itself, so I want to get the base of it lined up with it here too. So end this up, all the way up to the top, see the head. This is the head, this is the tail. So the head is where you want on the same Z axis level. So copy the Z from the tail, paste it there. Oh, there we go. That's not where it should be. <laughs> Odd. Hmm. Very odd. It should just line up perfectly, but for some reason, um, no, either that or my thing's off in some form or another. So here, hmm. All right, just take it and align it better than. What I could do. Take it, align it as such, and you should be fine. Ah, uh, you have to pull. In pose mode, we're going to lock it, the location and the rotation, except for the X. So hit tab, it should take you into pose mode. Selected on the wrong thing, apparently. Uh, let's fix that. Wow, doing really amazing today. Make sure you have the uh, eyelid selected for it. Lock that in place. And we're going to rename it, of course. Back in edit mode, go here and do eyelid L. And then, uh, symmetrize. They got both of them. Right? And the left. Now, if you're worried about rotating it upright, just have both selected, then shift S, cursor to selected. And set the pivot point at the 3D cursor. Just R, X. Oh, <laughs> she got the whole thing selected. Then you rotate it up. Rx, rotate it up. So you want to basically where it'd be aiming towards the uh, upper eyelid. Easy to see if I didn't have my hair in the way. Now, wouldn't it? So I hide that. Back on the bones. 
free. If you look at it, it looks like it's aiming right up there. And then you want to get it attached to the head. So select the head, select the bones, shift or control P. You're going to do armature to form with empty groups. And now when you look over at the actual body itself under the vertex groups, you see eyelid left and right. Now all of this, the rest of this is, is uh, getting it set up. Uh, let's select the armature. We're going to go into pose mode first. Not to rotate, and it'll only rotate on said, you know, x-axis, like I said before. But, uh, hit, select your body. Tab, we're gonna go into edit mode real quick. Oh. Oh. Is it showing with the value on? Why is it showing with the value on? Let's go to base. Thank you. We can, uh, cover that. Also in a little bit, and what you're going to want to select specifically is the eyelid itself. So I'm gonna hit five, go into here so we can see the, where the inside is. Make sure to grab the loop cut around the eye. Hit five again to get it back into ortho and hold control and plus 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 plus. Just get that whole eye section selected. If you want to go a little farther, that's perfectly fine. I usually go around like here. And we're gonna go into put into uh weight paint. Weight paint here. I already have the show in here. In general, you wouldn't. It would just be a base like this. So what you're going to hit is the face selection masking for painting. So what this does is it only allows you to paint this specific area. And we're gonna start adding now. I already rotated the uh eyelid partial bone itself so when uh, I start weight painting it's going to start pushing towards it like such get a little harsher on it start getting it moving in a bit more and all this is at this point is just taking some time to get the whole thing done I mean I probably should have honestly of uh done a full recording while I did the other one. I was just, I was not 100% sure. But that's, you know, what edits for. I should have, could have just taken it, edited it out, and set it up exactly to show you on, like, YouTube how to do it exactly. But this part here is just what will take the time. It maybe took me around half an hour or so get it to where I wanted it exactly. I mean, you're going to have to use like blur and such to make it mask better together. Uh, another suggestion I'd have is like this section here I had the I had to actually kind of come out along with it. So when I bent down, that's why I have the uh, shape key goes along with it. If, you, if I didn't uh, have this section of the uh, eyelid kind of jutting out as far as it was, I wouldn't need the shape key, but because of that, I need the shape key. So I'm gonna go over this some more and then get into why, how I did the shape key. So, eh, let's get this going. You have to, too. You could, uh, of course, go inside uh, the ortho. You need to just hide the eye itself. Another thing you need to make sure is that you line it up so when the whole thing closes, it closes together. <sighs> and of course I have symmetries on so you can see both sides are uh, working together. I go over here and I uh, tap to rotate more. See it goes down and then you'll see it isn't exactly quite lined up. We'll, we'll fix that. Let's see, go to draw. Let's turn down. It's a little too far down. Uh, not mix. This was what? No, ha! Huh? See how quickly you can throw it out of uh, hand if you're not careful enough. 
dark and a lot. There we go. Get it, uh, not as harsh here. Okay, now it's a little too light there, so. Start turning this down. Being a little weaker on it overall. Again, this part here is just going to take patience. A lot of time to make sure it all lines up. That's already better than what it was. I need to loosen up over here. Yeah, that might be pretty much it, other than a little here, maybe. So that it actually all just lines up as it closes. I might have to change some of the shape key anyway, so... That's the funny thing, if I go here, I can actually move it in, can't I? Yeah, see the shape key's off compared to the original one I did. That's why I saved an extra slot, just in case, because... I have to modify it all around. If I go here... Rotate down... Actually kind of align decently well here, so I'm gonna slap this on such oh. Trying to think, it's like, how did I exactly do the other one? The shape key, because the shape key, what you could do is you set up the way you want the uh, eye to look mainly closed, and then uh, you'll need to do quite a bit of pulling and such to get the eye to fully close. That doesn't look horrible, but still gonna have to do it. See it on both sides. Alright, I still want to weaken that section around here. This way. Maybe not. I mean, I could weaken general spot around here so it's not pushing in quite as harshly. That is something I do because it looks like it's pushing in harder than uh, the other side. Weaken here. Back down. We see this needs to be slightly as well. Down. Alright, that's not bad. I think I'm going to leave it as such and we're going to head over towards the shape key. Obviously this isn't perfect, but... Doing so quite perfectionist, you could say. That would take some time. A bit of time. And right now, unfortunately, I don't have the time. <laughs> Starting to sound like uh, Deanna Troy from uh, Star Trek First Contact. <laughs> don't have the time. What was I saying? <laughs> You're drunk. 
There is no. Only Twitch streamer. <laughs> okay. Uh, object mode. Like I said, you know, this looks weird and whatnot. I already have a eyelid set up for it for here, so I'm just gonna delete that. Now, what are shape keys exactly? Oh, and why need to use them? <coughs> shape keys are, well, exactly what you see here. It's, uh, you have a basis, which is what the base model is. And when you add on top of it, due to the relative value, it changes whatever you change under the shape key when you're under edit or sculpting. Now we're going to have the eye selected. What we want to focus on, so go into edit mode, shift H, hide that. And sculpt mode. Uh you know what? Fine. Change that back up. Under sculpt mode we're going to wanna hide. Everything but the eye section. I'm trying to remember. I had to get it to specifically show it from, uh, you had selected. I actually don't remember that off the top of my head. Look that up. Like, there's a way to do it. I just select it and I hide it from edit, then go into sculpt mode and it would hide it. But, so I'm gonna have to do it from, uh, mask is showing only. What the hell? <laughs> Why you do this to me? Edit. That. It's not doing anything. Even though it's showing it's supposed to. Alrighty then. That is uh, strange. Not doing what it's supposed to. Alright, either or. We're going to uh, rotate it down and start working on it then. Here, make sure that this is uh working properly. It's not working properly at all, huh? All right. Uh, what did I do wrong? First thing that has to come to mind is what did I do wrong? Go to edit mode. We can do it from edit mode also, but it doesn't show what you've done unless you actually change it around. Oh, there we go. Now, oh, that's why it wasn't showing before. Because uh, I didn't change the uh, sculpt tool. That's right. So when you do it, make sure you have the relative value up all the way or it's not going to show. Uh, if I can hide then now. It's not. If I do this, that's still not doing it either. Alright, fine. Be that way. Uh, Alt H, show it back all, go back to sculpt mode. But that way will it hide short? No, it won't. Alright, fine. 
We're gonna just going to stick with uh doing it without that. This is only gonna be showing you slightly. So what you're going to be doing is grabbing the eyelid and start pulling it in and such. You might have to rotate this up some or to do it if it's not letting you hide it, like for some odd reason it's not letting me do with mine, so and you just start pulling it in. Until you get it exactly the way you need it. This is not going to be a perfect job whatsoever. Again, it's a quick job. And it's gonna look a little funky at first because I'm going to need to uh, have it align up with the eye for when it closes all the way. And I'll do the full modify after it closes, which will be uh, using uh, the deflate or inflate and uh, smooth tool. So now, if we take the eyelid here and we rotate back down. Together, obviously, it's not smooth. Like I said, this is uh, but as you see, it's still a little not far enough out. We're gonna have to lift up more. Go back here. More. I have to go into that eye with how this is. Almost. <sighs> Another character I'm trying to design. Trying to set her up so that uh, I don't have to do this so much. This one is you see I have. I said this is just gonna look kind of ugly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it all in together for the time being. And it live. All right. It's not horrible. What I'm going to do, take this out of there real quick, select the eyes, hide them back in here. I want to smooth it out. Of course, to do that, we're going to have to go look at the inside now, aren't we? Obviously, this doesn't look as bad as it was, but it's very poofy. <laughs> it's very poofy. So, obviously, the next step would be to start... Uh, take inflate, deflate. And you're gonna start deflating this, so to just hold down. Shift. And deflate it so that... Goes in properly. Now this isn't again perfect as you see it's still not quite fully closed, but just what I'm gonna leave it at for the time being. So 
So now you can see how it uh, smooths out together the whole eye. And if you take it out, it's, you know, changes back to that, so. And a little smoothing. Smooth here. And I'll show you a small, quick animation for the once I just get done with it from right here. And you'll see how it all smoothly transitions together. Ooh, a little too much. Oh, come on. <laughs> Go in here, we're gonna... Front faces only. Inflate slightly in case we want to make it a little smaller. That actually doesn't look bad. All right, let's go back to object mode, alt H. Nothing's hidden now. And let's get that tiny animation done, like I said. See, when you do that now, obviously it looks funky. That's not how it should look. So, select the body, see this, remove the change on the shape key here. We're going to have it select the entire body and have it clear the transformation. Move the uh, timeline editor down here to one. Move on to the left uh, section here. We're gonna lock the lock rot and scale. It's location, rotation, and scale of the armature itself. Move this over to 24. And we're going to take the eyelids Rotate down, they're closed, again, lock rod scale. Now move back to frame one, because we need to now change the shape key as well. Lock the shape key, go over onto it where it shows the relativity value at zero. Hit I, move to 24, and move it all the way up. Then... You just leave it at the end, just have it end if you want. Then just anywhere on like the viewport or whatever, just Alt A to play. And it'll show you how it looks. See? Looks pretty good. If you wanted to, uh, instead of doing this first, you can delete the change on there. Um, should have selected the whole armature. Could have added two the beginning and I'm um, going to do that real quick so we can do it eyes closed then eyes open delete those keyframes right there did it delete them all? I deleted them all right oh <laughs> oops let's reset the uh transfer rate start at one here on the timeline go back where it shows the pose and everything set the lock rod scale the end for it is now going to be 48 go to 48 Set it there to nothing. Now do the same for here we already have it on one. If you don't have it on one, just set you know the value again for the keyframe with I. Go to 48, set it to I. Now go to 24. Select the uh, eyelids, rotate. Close it down. Lock rod scale for the pose. Select the body. Set that up all the way. Now uh, you can see the rotation is not quite perfect where it should be. So we'll just rotate a little farther down. Obviously, like I said before, it's not fully closed regardless to begin with. But there we go. Make sure to save the lock rod scale. And now we'll let it run through. <laughs> As I forget to 
Set up the shape key again. Shape key all the way up. And I. Yellow means that it has it. The keyframe. Green means it's going between keyframes. Okay, we'll do it one more time and have it play. So here it goes. Well, was obviously, I could have smoothed out here just a little bit more on the shape key, but there you go. Get uh, eyelids fully going there. Actually, I think it might look a little better than my other one, so I might just keep it. Oh. Hopefully, this uh, helps someone out, and uh, especially if you're doing an anime type character, like I said at the beginning when I had it at first, it was just kind of off, and I had to rethink where I was going to put the actual eyelid bones. So. Hopefully this is informative to somebody out there. <laughs> Thanks for coming and uh, watching the stream. Hope you liked what you saw here. If uh, you enjoyed and want to see more, and hit that follow, or follow button on uh, Twitch. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. For those coming back and uh, supporting me, thank you for coming and supporting the channel. And I hope you enjoyed what you saw here. Hit the thumbs up if you uh, liked it, hit the thumbs down if you didn't like it, comment below, of course, if on uh, YouTube, and I'll see you all later on uh, Twitch or YouTube, and have a good day. Bye!